If you're traveling to Rabat, Morocco, you're in for a treat. Stay tuned for my recommendations and to get a glimpse of what the city looks like. On our way to Marrakesh, we stopped to take refuge in Rabat for a night. I had no idea what to expect, but I was excited for the adventure. Wait, guys. We're in Rabat. Before we arrived in the city, we stopped at a woman's weaving cooperative. Here, we took lunch and learned a few things about traditional Moroccan textiles. Nizala specializes in bringing economic opportunities to rural women in Morocco. To support their cause, we enjoyed a sewing lesson with a cultural lesson about the history of textiles and special patterns in Morocco. Stitching these intricate patterns were pretty tough. It's safe to say that I shouldn't quit my day job. Book the same or a similar trip using the discount code WANDER ONWARDS with my trusted partner, Experience Morocco. Check the description for details. After the sewing lesson, we got to enjoy an incredible meal fit for a queen. Even as a group of eight, we barely made a dent in the amount of food that was served. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified about new videos. Moroccan hospitality is unparalleled. If you're lucky enough to receive an invite into a private home, you should jump at the chance. While we were in Rabat, we stayed in the old town at this beautiful Riyadh. Riyadhs in Rabat tend to run from 30 US dollars to 50 US dollars an evening. So even if you have a tight budget, you'll still be able to find something beautiful. Welcome to the white city of Rabat. So Rabat is actually the capital of Morocco and this is where the government and the king lives. So this is actually an impromptu stop along our journey through Morocco because the connecting flights between Fez and Marrakesh all of them have been canceled in order to prevent the spread of COVID virus. So instead, we decided to stop in Rabat, the white city, uh, and take a breather from driving before we make our way to Marrakesh. Just as I mentioned before, each individual major city in Morocco has its own color. So obviously this one is white. Um, it's right on the ocean front. It's beautiful. And it's actually one of the safest cities in Morocco partly because parliament is here and the king is here. So they really beef up security and it's very safe to walk around. Don't be afraid to venture around the city during the daytime. The winding white and blue alleys are beautiful and you'll see plenty of opportunities to grab a souvenir along the way. Rabat is not necessarily as popular as Marrakesh is for tourists, but it's definitely worthwhile to visit. You'll get the same opportunity to enjoy Moroccan culture and food, but without the crowds like in Marrakesh. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get a notification about new videos. As we only had one night in Rabat, we decided to have dinner at the sister restaurant of our Riyadh. We loved the generous starters and the meal averaged out to be about $12 per person for their entire meal. While it was a quick visit to Rabat, it was definitely memorable. Drop any other recommendations you have in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.